Hello Xano community, and welcome to release 1.58. Included in this release are database triggers, self-serve backup and restore, request history improvements, new table manager views, new edit card for the database view, new text formatting options, copy schema as JSON, middleware exception handling, expression autocomplete, and modular theming. At long last, you can now build your own custom logic to run any time a change is made to your database. When a record is added, edited, deleted, or the table is cleared, you can employ custom filters, just like in a query all records step, to your database triggers so that they're only executed based on certain conditions. We're excited to introduce the first piece of true real-time functionality inside of Xano. We've greatly improved the backup and restore experience. From the new database backup section of your instance settings, you can now perform the following actions anytime without support intervention. Create a manual backup, restore a backup, view backup history, and change backup policy. Currently, you can change the time at which your daily backups take place. We'll be adding some additional features to this section soon. We've upgraded how you can manage your request history inside of Xano. In your workspace settings, head over to the new branch defaults panel that allows you to adjust the following settings. Enabling and disabling request history for APIs, tasks, middleware, functions, and triggers. Adjusting whether the individual statements are stored, and if so, the number of statements to store. Additional filtering options when viewing your request history, like input and output size and a self-serve option to clear request history from your instance settings. When viewing your database tables in Xano, you can now switch to a more digestible list view, which is especially helpful as the number of database tables you have increases. You can also now apply sorts by name, storage size, record count, or created date, and even filter by tag. When editing a record in the database table view, you now have the option to use a new card view to observe and edit multiple fields in the record all in one shot. In the database view, you can now define formatting options for text fields. We've also added a new editor, which can be accessed by double-clicking on a text field to enable easier viewing and editing of large text fields. From the JSON view in your database tables, use the new button to copy the schema of the table in JSON format to your clipboard. Based on your feedback to our new middleware feature, we're adding some additional functionality so you have more control over what happens when errors occur in your middleware function stacks, such as when you're using a precondition. When building using expressions in Xano, you'll now experience a much improved boost to the autocomplete feature. Not only can you autocomplete variable, input, and filter names, but you can autocomplete inside of JSON paths all automatically. Enjoy a little bit of both the light and dark? We've introduced modular theming, which allows you to choose between a combination of light and dark mode for different areas of the Xano UI. Just click the user icon in the lower left corner to pick your favorite settings. For a full list of bug fixes and improvements, check out the Xano community post link below, and we'll see you next time.